Hey everybody, I'm back with more Mermaid Swamp. Let me just smurp. Smurp. Here we go. Alright. Um. Uh. Let's, um. Let's. Go ahead and uh, go out to the swamp. Because I gotta check the direction of that one thingy. Um, items. Somewhere map. Face us to the side, now our hands here and south between 12 and the hour hand. Right, so the old mansion's to the south. The mark on the map is east, so that means something's across the swamp. Oops, I skipped that. Okay, so oh, we're gonna need that boat. Um, for one. All right, let's. Okay, so. This is where it says to go. Um. Golf club! Ah, oh, there's a rod prop again. Why do you need that for a closet? And a, a key and a scrap of paper? Found the boiler room key, but I won't tell this to the master. He strictly forbids entry to it. There must be something valuable there. I must check while I have the chance. And you did. So, you see how that worked. Alright, I'm, I'm guessing the boiler room is that house outside that has been locked. Yep. Um. Alright. Yep, boiler room. Ew, there's a key everywhere. Pretty old boiler. <laughs> Well, weird shaped key, like a blah blah key, I didn't see that. Engine key. Oh. Power generator? Huh, the power's on, why the... That's weird. Okay, um... You know what? Motorboat. Inserted the red button. Let me guess, I automatically use the key. I'll just start up the engine and get to the other side. Might want to get it in... Oh! Hi, Saitaro! Rin! Saitaro, what? Going to that spot on the map? I'm coming with you. I don't want you taking a dive again. Ah, shut up! I can imagine her just being like Inuyasha. The anime just... Rin! me too. I'm gonna save. Alright, and then I'm gonna check them up. X by a brown mark. What's it marking? There's a lot of icky. It's not a very good map. Um... Ooh, that's a big rock. The ground here is weird and makes a weird sound when you step on it. Dig up the ground. Why not? Why not? Okay, great. Looks like we can remove it. I see something below. Looks like there's a ladder going down. Because there aren't enough um, horror movie 
things here? Hey, Ren, where's the lantern I gave you? Oh, I broke it a while back. Well, screw you, too. <laughs> you hold that and follow me, alright? Okay. Wait, up! Oh my god! What? What's up? It's so cold all of a sudden. I'm freezing. That should help. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. He gave me his jacket. Ha ha ha. Dynamite. Dynamite day. Pickaxe. An unlit light. Doesn't look locked. Let's go in. I don't like that. Oh, this is cutscene. Oh, shit! A monster? No, it's a corpse. A woman's corpse. A corpse? Yeah, right. Not something that huge and gross. And wouldn't a corpse be rotten? It's not just a corpse. It's preserved with adipocir? Adipocir? Sounds like something that would preserve fat. Say again? It's an undecayed corpse kept away from open air and germs. Oh, that's why. That's what it is. The body hardens up and won't fall apart. Sounded familiar. Now I know what the legend's all about. Wait, really? Why don't, why don't we believe in the legend? Huh? Because mermaids don't exist? That's right, there's no such thing as a mermaid, so we won't believe a mermaid legend. But if it wasn't a mermaid? Huh? But if it wasn't a mermaid, but just a regular woman? The man from the mountains finds a beautiful girl on the beach. Maybe a diver, maybe just swimming along. The man falls for her and abducts her to his home. He loves seeing her in the water, so he has her live in a fish tank. Always living in water makes the girl sick, and she dies. And even when her body freezes, she's not allowed out of the water. S so that's how those corpses were made. But wait, why leave the corpse like that? And why the Addy thing? And why are there five of them? If you left a corpse in the water for a month, it would, it'd normally be falling apart by then. It's hard to get the right circumstances for preservation. But these corpses are barely damaged at all. They were purposefully preserved right as they started swelling. Wait, purposefully? You found those old documents, right? About a medicine to stop germs from spreading? Oh. Oh. What if it was to preserve these corpses? Oh. The man loved her, even bloated and ugly like this. In fact, perhaps this is what he loved most. L loved these corpses? There's some strange people out there, with some strange preferences. No one else might ever know them, of course. Perhaps he couldn't give the girl up after she died. He can watch her rot, so he went to a last resort. But... That eventually became his goal. What do you mean? The mermaid's curse takes village girls. He couldn't have just one. It's like Pringles. The pipes in this room must go to the boiler room. He must have set them up to continuously fill the fish tanks with that germicide. These women are Ophelia's to the Suchita bed. They adore the sight of a woman drowning in the water, such that they drown them themselves. That's crazy! These women were abducted for that? So this is the truth of the mermaid, but I don't understand. Why let that secret be known via a legend? Why create a legend to expose it all? Oh. Ah, the woman! The Suchita woman! Huh? Wouldn't the Suchita woman know that their male relatives were off stealing girls? They load them, but couldn't stop it. They were frightened of being made mermaids themselves. So they made the legend to keep people away. So at least no outsiders would fall victim. I see. That seems to explain the whole legend, but that doesn't seem to help us much. We don't know how to help Yuka or get out of here. Let's go, Ren. Seems finding a map and getting out of here comes first. Stop it. 
I don't know where you came from, and I can't take you back. Leave us alone already! Take me back to the earth. To the earth? They went buried! That's right. You're not mermaids. Just normal women. You don't like looking so hideous. I'll do what I can. Yeah, with this! You wanna blow up the cavern and fill it in? I'm sure this dynamite will do the trick. The fuse is way too short. There's no time to run. You'll be buried alive! Don't be stupid! But I want to do something! I know I wouldn't want to look like that forever. I want to be taken back to be saved! Please say, Taro, help me out! No! But you'll do it no matter what I say, won't you? You never listen. I managed to extend the fuse, but it'll be ten seconds tops before it blows. We have to get to the surface before then. Rin, you wait up above. I'm staying here. I suggested it, so I'm not leaving it to you. Fine. Run like hell when I light it, okay? Three, two, one. caved in. That should fill up that cavern. Ren, what's up? Were you hurt? Huh? Uh, tears? They're not my tears. They're warm. They're the girls'. Ooh. That's a bit creepy. about this, and you still invited us here? Our whole family adores mermaids. Even if they loathe us, they cannot seek help. So they needed someone to help them. They've long been waiting for an unknown third party like you. Old man, Mr. Sachita, tell me, did you turn off the power to the house so we couldn't contact the outside? Yes, that is correct. You were in that village all along, right? When I went there, you were there? Yes. Also right. The, the hell didn't you do anything? Your family did all this! The mermaids adore us. They had never sought help before. But what my ancestor did, ancestors did was terrible. I wanted to make up for it somehow. But I knew no mere monument would save anyone. Yet... I could not release the girls. I love them myself. So awful and repulsive. Those mermaids too beautiful for this world. You damn fogey. I'm calling the police. Stop, Ren. The statute of limitations is probably up by now. And this old man didn't do it. The fog is starting to fade. I gave Mr. Yuta a map to the highway earlier. It should be easy to descend the mountains now. What are you going to do, Mr. Suchita? I suppose I'll mourn them for the short rema remainder of my life. For the deluded men, the departed mermaids, and above all, for my family. Yuta! Oh, Ren, Seitaro! Listen, the engine works fine now. Oh, and the old man came back with the map, so we can finally go home. Alright, Yuta, help me carry Yuka. We're going as soon as we can. 
Oh wait, we should thank the old man. <coughs> we already said it. Come on, let's go. Alright, much easier to see now. We'll be off the mountain in half an hour. Yuka! Hmm. Written? Huh, I... You... Yuka! We went down the mountain to a hospital, but there was nothing wrong with Yuka. Yuka says she doesn't remember anything. Just that she was cold. Yuta's buying a new car finally. He wants to have one fil with a GPS, so he's working hard at his job, but I'm iffy on the thing that I didn't get to read. Saitara has been taken to calling me Ape Woman. I guess that's an upgrade from Yama Monkey? How mean can a guy get? Oh, and I. I don't have any lonely dreams about being cold in the water anymore. The end. Underwater dream. Alright, guys! That's the end of Mermaid Swamp. Um... It took a little longer than I thought to finish it because I couldn't find a mop. Um. <coughs> but. Alright. Wolf RPG Editor Version 2. Materials. First Seed Materials. Tsukima's Resources for the materials. Sounds. Mao Demashi. Terra Komori's Usage. Music Egg. Effective Sounds. Vita Chi House. Unjin. Pocket Sound. Sounddogs.com. Um. I really like the art style in this. Um, the Ophelia thing was kind of cool. It was, it was different. Um, I like the legend and how it turned out. Oh, and there's all the different Ophelia paintings they used. Um, from 1582 to 1905. Huh. Oh, 1510. Geez. Mm. But I really liked how it turned out, even though it was like, holy shit. Um, they seem to figure it out a little bit quickly in the end. Um, looking back at it, it was pretty obvious what the mermaids were. That's 2020 hindsight, you know? Um, I would like to play more games like this. Um, I just kind of wish that the, uh, even though the Ophelia thing was cool- Oh, creator. Yuri! Great. Very good. Or would it be Uri? Whatever! Awesome game! It could have been um, a little less with that whole painting scene. That was just a little bit of overkill. Um, all the scares pretty much got me, and... Pretty interesting. I liked Ren a lot, too. She was kind of a bitch. So... In a good way. In a good way. Um... Alright, that was Mermaid Swamp first ending. I'm going to try to bring more endings to you. But for now, I'm going to, uh... <coughs> let it lay. This has been Kiara Zirina Cheetah with another Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll stick around for more. Bye!